Now we just heard the call that all four solar arrays have been released. So we initially heard the initiation call. That command had been sent. Now those four solar arrays are released. Again, this is about a 12 minute process. The solar arrays will deploy straight and you're getting a live view right now. Coming up on 21 minutes since liftoff. The solar arrays deploying now are part of the European service module. It's comprised of 20,000 parts and components. The service module was developed as part of an agreement between NASA and the European Space Agency, or ESA. We are in solar array deploy and we have confirmation all four arrays are deployed. All four of those solar arrays, as you can see, are swept back. That's going to keep them from having any loads imparted that might damage them uh, for use later in the mission. And we have confirmation of perigee rays maneuver ignition and full thrust. This is a live view from the spacecraft. Again, a really short burn. We're standing by for the cutoff. And we have confirmation of perigee rays maneuver cut off. Flight dynamics officer reporting on the loops here at Mission Control Houston that it was a good burn. We are now 54 minutes into the flight, Orion traveling 14,700 miles per hour. We're now less than a minute away from translunar injection burn. And this is a live view from the spacecraft. You can see from this view, we have all four of those solar array wings swept back. Orion now traveling off the northwest coast of Australia towards the Pacific Ocean. This translunar injection burn will begin to take it away from the Earth, breaking it free from the pull of gravity. We're standing by for confirmation that the burn has started. We have confirmation from the booster officer that the translunar injection burn has begun and that we are at maximum thrust. Again, this is a long burn, about 18 minutes. And we have cutoff of the interim cryogenic propulsion stage, which has committed Orion to the translunar conjection. The spacecraft is moon bound. As you can see, we have confirmation of interim cryogenic propulsion stage from Orion. With the Earth in the background and the moon is our destination, Artemis generation, we are going.
It's been one hour, 57 minutes, and 40 seconds since Orion launched atop the SLS from Kennedy Space Center in Florida at 1.47 a.m. Eastern Time. After a smooth ride to orbit, a perigee raise maneuver, and a translunar injection burn conducted by the interim cryogenic propulsion stage, Orion is now flying free, attached to the European Service Module, and on its journey to the moon.